Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Talk. We're doing something really different tonight, and we're coming to you from the dining room floor. <laughs> I'm in the corner of my dining room, and I think our special guest, Grizz, is going to join us periodically because this is different for him. Um, but what we're doing tonight is a project that I've wanted to do ever since I opened my store in 2015. I just always had this idea that I wanted to do a big growth ruler. So um, if you've never seen one of them, they're really cute, and we're going to make one tonight. So um, I guess what inspired me is Dixie Bell's new transfers. So this is the Bells and Whistles Alice in Wonderland transfer. So I'm going to be using that and I'll open it up here and show you the designs. And I also, Grizz, you're going to have to go lay down, buddy. Okay, so what we're doing is I have a one by six and it's six foot long. Move, Grizz. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so this is six foot long. So I'm just going to have to move it in front of you so you see how long it is, but it is six feet. <laughs> There's the end. Okay, going to lay it down here. I have prepped it. What I mean, so you'll see the back side of it is unpainted, and this side is has only gotten one coat of Voodoo Gel Stain, and this is in Up in Smoke. Okay, so that's what we have there. Here. There we go. So Up in Smoke is a gray color. So another thing I did to prep it so that it wouldn't take forever in a day is I marked off. So what I figured would start it at six inches so that one would start down here and six would be at the top. So this allows that child to grow to six foot six inches before they have to use another ruler. <laughs> so that would be a tall child. So that would be a grown up at that point, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna lay it down here. Um, so I have marked them off just with pencil lines. You probably can't see that. Um, I'll point to them. So that was the idea just so I could see them. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm also using um, some decor stamps. And these are from Redesign with Prima. And the name of this stamp is called Stripes, but it's actually Numbers and Stripes. So we're going to start with the transfers, though, because we can stamp right over top of the transfers. So I'm going to do my best. But for you to see me, for you to see everything. Um, so we open up the transfer package and you always get one of these applicator sticks, okay? Um, <laughs> these are amazing. So I'm gonna lay them down and hopefully you can see them. I'm gonna lower this a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer. And if you're just joining in, Please feel free to comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, oh, these are so cute. I'm not sure what the best way to look at it is, but I'll definitely be using some of these rabbits in here. And like this guy, right there, he's gonna go down to the bottom. And then I also think one of these clocks so I like some of these smaller um, designs. I'm trying to hold it so you can see it. Now these other two I think are a little too big for this project. So this is um, Alice in her chair. I'm also trying to stay away from the florals in there. This way it's kind of um, gender neutral, I guess. I also think this one's a little bit big, the, um, the table, and I think the cat's a little scary. So <laughs> trying to stay away from some of them. So I think the, the clock and the rabbits and stuff. Now I'm also going to be using um, ink 
from Redesign with Prima for the stamp, and I chose white. So I think that will keep it kind of light and bright for a child's room. So I'm going to put aside the first two pages that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to set those aside. Okay. Save those for another project. And now I'm just going to cut apart the ones that I'm going to use. I know I want to use this guy down in the bottom. So I'm going to work my best here to make sure you can see. So this is kind of awkward, but I wasn't exactly sure how to do this with a big long board. So I thought the best thing for me to do was work on the floor. All right, so cutting this guy out. And you're just cutting around it. You don't have to cut it out perfectly because it's on a clear backing. Okay, so I'm thinking he's going to go down here somewhere. And I know that's off camera for you, but I'll turn it around a little bit. So starting it down here. And then I'm just going to cut this clock out. So I think I want to use that somewhere. So I'm just going to lay it there for now. And let's get one of these rabbits. So clearly it's been around a while since I read Alice in Wonderland because there's probably better names for these things that I'm cutting out. And I am just calling them rabbits and this guy. And <laughs> okay, so we have this guy, this rabbit guy. <laughs> All right, now I'm just putting them on here for now. I think this motif is really cute. I'll hold it up. The cards, I think that is so cool. Now it does have some roses on it, but I just think it's really cool. Sorry, trying to do this so you see. Forget about that. Okay. Um, going to cut the other rabbit out. And, you know, like any project, I have an idea what I want to do, and then sometimes that changes, you know. So be prepared for that. <laughs> so there's that rabbit. Oh, and I like this little guy, too. I don't know what he is. I'm going to say a mongoose. I don't even know what a mongoose is, but if I had to guess, that's what I'd say it is. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm just going to kind of lay these out, and I know you can't see all this. I'll make sure you can see everything eventually here. Okay. That would be cute. Then we need one more thing for up the top. And of course, like I said, it would be gender neutral, but you know, Alice in Wonderland isn't Alice in Wonderland without Alice, right? So we're going to cut Alice out. She's the only one that I know the name. <laughs> okay, so there's Alice. So we'll put her up at the top. Okay, and again, I know you probably can't see that, but I'm going to try to give you, not my arm, <laughs> but kind of move the view up here so you can see. I don't know if that's helping at all. Hold it up a little. Okay, I'll move the board along as we go so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's start down here at the bottom, right here. And I'm going to crank this down a little bit. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Oops, that's up. Okay. So we have our little tool here. And I'm just going to peel the backing paper 
which is literally just the paper away. Okay, we don't need the paper. And we just wanna be careful that we don't touch the sticky part in the back. And I'm just gonna lay it down. I kinda like his feet maybe at the bottom here. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingers and press it down. And then I'm gonna get the stick. And I'm gonna start burnishing the transfer. If you hear any feedback, uh, this system does that and I need to start using a mic so that we don't have that. <laughs> it might be more annoying to me than it is to you. <laughs> So, um, hope you're having a good week so far. It's gorgeous here in central Pennsylvania, let me tell you. I know I was talking to my sister earlier, and she's in South Carolina, and she said it was gorgeous there. So, so definitely beautiful spring weather. Okay, so I wanted some of the grain to show through, but you could do whatever you wanted to with this project. You could paint it um, white. You could use the white up in smoke, or the white voodoo gel stain. Um, it's called white magic. There's just so many options and so many choices. So I have this kind of down and I'm gonna start lifting up and I just kind of keep burnishing it as I lift. And if there's a part that doesn't come up, just lay it back down and rub it some more until it comes up. You can see when it gets kind of um, transparent, I guess you could say, or whitish, that the transfer is sticking to the object and away from the backing sheet. If you've tried transfers, I'd love it if you comment and tell me about your transfer project. And if you've never tried Bells and Whistles, the Dixie Bell transfers, you really should try them because they are really super easy to use. I really love them. And I've used a lot of different transfers. Okay, so we have the transfer down already. If you feel anything a little bubbly under there, just burnish it. I like to flip it over to the shiny side of the backing paper and then just kind of use that to rub the transfer the rest of the way down. Okay, so one down already. And let's just move along here. And I'm gonna kind of come over here in this territory because I think it would be kind of cool if we end up stamping over this a little bit. So again, we remove the backing paper, set that aside. And let me see, so that is a long one. This is a long one. The middle ones are sort of long. Let's put it over here. And I know you can't see what I'm talking about yet, but you will see. I guess Grizz decided the couch was more comfortable than hanging out while we do the video. So he went and laid down. <laughs> Okay, sometimes it's hard to get just a little part started, but once you do, then it'll release for you. So just continue to burnish it really well. Remember, this project has to last through the whole um, lifetime of your child until they go grow to six foot six inches. <laughs>
Now, a lot of people seal transfers, and I may seal this whole project when I'm done, or I might wax it. Not really sure on that yet. Either way, I'll follow up with you on that because we're not doing that part of the project tonight. Just doing the transfers and the stamps tonight. So you get the idea. See how that lifts up once it releases? It's good to go. <laughs> so I use my fingers and then I flip it over and use this paper. I find the paper really helps get rid of that little halo around the edge that you see sometimes with the transfer. It just really helps burnish it. And you know another thing you can do too, and I do have some sandpaper here, is you can distress your transfers too. So here's what we have so far. We started from the bottom up and we have, I don't know what he is, a jester and then a clock. And then we're gonna come up here with one of the rabbits. <laughs> and again, take off the backing. And just position him over here. Press it down with your fingers first and then use your stick. And my leg's falling asleep, so <laughs> I'm going to reposition myself here. This is weird, not used to uh, doing my lives on the dining room floor. So, sorry about that. Okay. I'm not exactly young anymore, so. <laughs> so I got to get in a good position. <laughs> you understand, I hope. And if you are too young to understand, then someday you will. All right. Okay, this is releasing nicely up here, his little rabbit ears. That was quick and easy. Okay. We're going to have this project done before you know it. And to think that I waited six years, right? <laughs> I just needed just the right inspiration, and I guess it's this transfer. Okay. All right, um, so, so you see, I'm going to move this a little bit. So you see so far we have this guy down here, and then the clock, and then another rabbit. And we're going to keep moving down. And I think we're going to do this one next. And when I say this one, it's the little group of hard people. <laughs> Is that what you call them? And again, you're going to stagger it and put this one kind of over here-ish. Because I think it'll look cool to run that stamp over, over some of these things. I'm going to try to space them out. Okay, let's see here. That'll work. Okay. All right, let me move it down so you can see it. Okay, right here. Move this camera up a little bit.
I should have opened the window. It's actually really warm. Not quite ready for the air conditioner yet or the fans, but definitely could use the window open. So pardon me if I glisten. <laughs> So I don't get too many people watching live. Right now I have no one on. Um, since I've been using StreamYard, I don't know how to push it out to social media beforehand like I did when I was going live directly from YouTube. But we have the benefit of the split screen. So I'm always trying to up my technology game and of course grow my channel. And we are growing. We're up to 605. So Again, I keep telling everybody the best thing you can do, the nicest thing you can do is to share videos um, and also to comment on them. I appreciate that when you engage uh, that way. And also, um, if you go to the Instagram page, La Vintage Decor, and look for the contest if you haven't done this already. And the instructions are there. We're going to be giving away $500 worth of products whenever we reach 1,000 subscribers. So, again, we're at 605. And that last 100 came on really quickly. So, um, we're growing. We're going to be doing another collaboration video with some other Dixie Bell retailers again. And uh, so, that's look, I look forward to that. Lots of cool stuff coming up. Just set a date for a, a collaborative advertising a wedding video for the rentals. So I'm looking forward to getting that all set up and arranged. Okay, so we've got this motif. So we're going to move up a little further. We've got another rabbit. I like this guy because he spreads out kind of across the whole width of the board. So we'll get some of that good stamp on him. And then this little guy too. Trying to space them out. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put this rabbit on. So I am so excited about Dixie Bell's transfers and also the um, decoupage papers. We're going to be doing a lot with them. We're going to be doing a decoupage class at La Vintage Decor and all kinds of fun stuff. So I also am looking forward to new releases, new transfers, you know, adding to the line and also um, maybe molds in the future. Maybe stamps? Who knows? The sky's the limit for Dixie Bell, I think. This was a biggie <laughs> doing the transfers. But I somehow don't think this is the end of the bells and whistles line. All right, these are just going on so nice. And you know, it might seem kind of dull for, I'm sorry about the noise, for a baby's room, but you know what? I think the weight numbers are going to really pop this. And who knows? We may end up doing some gilding wax or something on here before it's all said and done. Okay, I'm going to come up here to the edge and do the Alice. And then we'll come back and put that, whatever it is. Okay. 
I guess I'll put her far uh, right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you are timid about crafting or, you know, doing some home decor pieces, transfers are really a great way to start because you really get a great finish with little effort. So, so far on this raw piece of wood, all I did was squeeze on some voodoo gel stain and up in smoke because it's in this squeeze bottle. It's really super easy to apply. And I actually just used a foam brush and spread it out real thin. This one coat, and you can add more if you like. You can use different colors if you like. But I just thought this would go great in someone's house if they were doing a nursery or for their kids' room if they were doing a farmhouse style, which is so popular right now. All right, we got Alice on here. Sorry about the noise. All right, and then we're going to put this, what is he? I'm going to keep calling him a mongoose, because <laughs> I don't know what else to call him. Okay, so hope to get something on one of these big lines. Just gonna be daring and bring him over here. Okay, I just want to look at my composition again. I think we have enough. I'm just trying to see if there's any areas that are without, you know, too much of a design. But I think it's kind of spread out pretty nicely. If anything, we could use two more, like a small one here, and maybe something else small way down here. Let's see what else we have that's small. I mean, there's a teapot. We could definitely do a teapot. That's very Alice in Wonderland. Here's another Alice. I should know this guy's name. How about a mushroom? Mushroom's a small thing. What's this guy's name? I don't know. And I don't know what these things are either, these designs. Oops. So let's get a mushroom. Let's do a mushroom in a teapot. How's that? Mushroom. We could do a few flowers, I suppose. It's a nice little motif. Okay, and a teapot. And my legs fall asleep again. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's do the teapot down here. Just kind of making a little willy nilly.
So again, if a little piece doesn't want to come up for you, just lay it back down and rub it some more until it comes up for you. And just You don't want to be in too much of a hurry. It goes pretty quickly, but just be careful because you don't want to ruin your transfer. This is so cute. Okay, and I'm gonna come up here, the top, and put my mushroom. I don't think I'm gonna do these flowers. If we do, then I think I'm gonna use one more set then down there, but I kinda of wanted to avoid using too many flowers, so I'm gonna stick with my original plan. Now I kind of put this over here and I probably should have put it more over there. So let me see if it's stuck yet. I got away with that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. Sometimes when you just set it down, it will just immediately start to stick and you don't want to try and lift it up at that point. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to try to do this again, like to pick it up. I'm going to do this so you can see what we've got. <laughs> Hold it up a minute. And the last thing I want to do is break my china closet windows or anything, but I'm trying to give you the whole view. So besides a mess, that's what I've got. I'm going to get rid of some of my papers here and move on to the next step. So, back up a little bit. So, I have a little sanding sponge here. So, I'm just going to kind of lightly go over my transfers. I just like that look. And the nice thing about these sponges is you can flip it right over and wipe the dust off. Okay. Nothing crazy, just sanding it down a little bit, and that gets rid of any of the remainder of the um, little halo that you see around the transfers. So, and it really burnishes it even more. And again, if, I always say there are no mistakes, so if you do anything that you don't like, this uh, hides a multitude of sins, as they say. Okay. Now, it's time for some stamping. We're going to stamp some numbers, and we're also going to stamp some lines. So, I um, lost my stamp. Where did it go? Boy, I don't know how that got the whole way into the living room, but <laughs> somehow it did. And I'm going to fish it back with my. Whoa. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so this is what we've got here. I'll show you the packaging. This is the back of the package. Again, this one is from Redesign with Prima, and this is a decor stamp, and this one is just called Stripes. So the stripes are kind of like grain sack stripes, and then we've got the numbers. So I'm going to take the cover off of this, or the, it can be a, used as a, a mount. If you've never used these before, they're really easy to use. But the first thing you want to do is rough them up a little bit. So we're going to get that sanding block again. I'm going to lay it down on here. I don't know whether you can see it very well or not, but I'll, here's what I'll do. I'll put that on there so maybe you can see it a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just take my sandpaper. You know what? I just did it. I took the wrong piece off. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one back on again and flip this because this is the side that we're stamping with. Okay, so we're going to pull this off. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So I'm pulling the stamps kind of off one at a time, trying. Okay, so we're only going to use one through six. So we'll just get those. Okay, so again, we're just going to um, rough it up a little bit just by going a couple different ways with the sandpaper, and it just helps it accept um, the ink or the paint. Now, you can use paint with these, and if you do, it's a wise idea to use like a brayer, a little roller, um, but I'm just using ink, and this is decor ink and this is from redesign with prima also these are really cool they're in a, a magnetic package so this one is copper so they just stack together so you won't lose them okay where's number three four <laughs> I'm going to make sure I get the right sides on these. Four, five. And six. Now, little did I know <laughs> that this was all in one piece. I thought those stripes were separate. I can cut it apart, and I think it's kind of cool that you have this whole thing. This is a nice design, but I like that one like it is. But I think what I'm going to do is cut this one apart. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> Before I do, I'm going to rough this up just a little bit. So I'm going to lay it down on here and just rough it up a little. Because so I'm only going to be using the end of it, really. But in case I ever want to use it again, I'm going to use the whole strip. You'll see what I mean here in a second. hope you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just cutting down the length of this. It's not easy to cut, <laughs> at least not with these scissors. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this one apart, too. Okay, it's a lot easier if I use the very tips of my scissors. Okay, so I'm going to use the wide one for the big lines, and I'm going to use the not-so-wide one for the smaller incremental lines. Okay, so should we do numbers first or lines first? No one's here to weigh in, so I'm going to make this decision myself. <laughs> We're going to do numbers first. I'm going to do that so you stay captivated. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab one of these film pieces and lay it down there. Just make sure I know that I'm stamping the right side of my stamp. So I take the top off, and there's a protective cover thing that I just take off. And then all I do, just watch down here, is I just stamp the number. Okay? So I did it so that there was, let me move this up so you can see it. So here's the bottom of it, and here's our first number. So we're just going to go right beside it, 
And once you get it down, you don't want to shift it. Okay, so I'm just pressing this number down, and then I'm just going to lift it straight up. Okay, so I have a number one. All right, let's move along with number two. And I'll move this up here and repeat the process. So that's the side I'm going to stamp on. Okay, so I'm going to put that on my sheet, grab my ink, and just ink that up. Good enough. And so here's my second line, and I'm just kind of positioning these at the base of them. So I'm just going to lay it down, press it down. I don't want to move it. <gasps> I, I moved it, so I hurried up and picked it up, which is okay. Um, can you see that? Yeah. You see that, too? It's not completely solid, and that's okay, because I'm not going to bother to try to put it back down there and get it match it up, because I'll mess it up, and that's okay. That means I can distress my stamps a little bit or my transfers a little bit more. Again, no accidents. Everything's everything's purposeful, right? So that's two, and then this would be three here. And that's the way that stamp will go. So I'm going to stamp this side of it. Okay. And I want to make sure that I'm stamping in the right place. Okay, we put it kind of at the bottom of that line, the bottom of the number that is at the bottom of the line, and then pick it straight up. Nice three, love it. Okay, let's get our four. Okay, so this is the side we're going to stamp our ink. This child's growing fast, right? Okay. So this is where we're going with this one. We're stamping right on this rabbit. I shift it around a little bit. I hope we're okay. Lift it straight up. That still looks pretty good. All right, and now we need number five. Okay, and that one's going to go right there. Get that out of the way. All right, so I got our five. I think this is looking pretty cute. Okay, and here's our six. Have some kind of fuzzy on it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put it over here and ink it up. And I'm gonna move this down a little so you can see. All right, so this, that's our five, so this is our six. Okay, looks good. All right, so now we're gonna do the lines. Um, something popped up on my computer. Okay, oh, uh, let me find the lines here. <laughs> Here's the thick one. Okay, so the, remember I cut the one that was thicker and looks like this is the end I sanded. So we're only going to use two inches of this. So um, 
I kind of want to, I guess I could just kind of eyeball it, but move this so you can see it. But that's going to go right there. So I'm just going to ink this. I'm going to put it on this so I don't get any more ink on the project. Okay. And remember before I drew some lines, which again, you probably can't see. But I can see them. Okay, so that's my big six mark. And then this one's going to go here. I'm going to stamp it again. And all right, so we have a line at the five. I'll come back to the four. Again, that one's not solid, but that's okay. Um, the foot is asleep again. So I'm going to reposition. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to ink a little. Okay, and we're down here at the three. Right here. Put this down. Okay. Lines are sort of easy to do, but I got a little extra, which is coming off surprisingly. You can always kind of sand it a little bit, too. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, I actually got a little over here, too. I'm going to have to be careful of how I'm stamping. Okay. So the next one I'm doing is here. This is the number two. Can you see this one moved in your way here? Um, so I'm glad I did the numbers first. It's a little easier to see these bigger lines. And then we'll get the number one line right there. Okay. Now then, the same thing every time on that. <laughs> okay. So then, what I did was I took every three inches and did a little bit longer line. So I'm still going to take this little skinny one. And this is the end that I roughed up, I think. This end, I guess. Okay. And so this one's only going to go in about an inch or so. All right. So let me ink up the pad. Get rid of that guy. Okay, over here. I'm going to lay that on there in case it's not dry. Okay. So we're going in about an inch. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just get these other ones. I'm not even bothering to re ink them yet. Maybe I better. And just making some faint little lines there. That are only about half inch. You see that? Get you over here a little bit. You see those lines? Okay, I'm going to continue doing that. You stamp again. Okay, so here's my here's my 
three that I'm going to do about an inch in. And then here's my other lines that I'm only doing a little bit. Did have to re-ink a little bit. This is so cute, guys. I think this is adorable. All right. Um, carry on here. I wish I was working at a table, but I'm not. So just going to have to make the best of it because this is really going pretty quickly anyway. Just don't look at when I hit. <laughs> Get an extra on there, <laughs> extra ink. Oh, I think this is so cute. This is exactly what I wanted. Hope you guys are seeing everything okay. This part goes really quickly. This whole project's going pretty quickly. Let me see. Well, I have been on 52 minutes. I can imagine if I hadn't stained it, how long we'd be on. But I sure hope you're enjoying it. I think this is so cute. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a decision tomorrow as to whether I do anything else with it as far as like wax it or um, I think that I might seal it a little bit. I think it would make these images and the colors and everything pop a lot. I like that it's kind of muted. It's not like in your face colors. <laughs> I think that's cool about it. But maybe we could use a little bling or something on it. <laughs> Just a little something or something to make it a little bit more intense. Do that one again. All right. This is going really quickly at this point. You're going to have to let me know in the comments if you like this project, if this is something that you would attempt. And who you'd make it for. <laughs> You know, even if the kids are already, you know, they don't. It doesn't have to be for a brand new nursery. You can do this when they're a couple years old, because they're going to really get into it. They enjoy watching their progress too. I know I've got a couple grandkids that are really something and <laughs> they're growing really fast okay i'm gonna keep moving this up so you can see it um,
What a fun project. So cute. This would be a great class. Good idea. I just might, oh, did I, I stamp the wrong side? <laughs> so I'm going to have white fingers here in a second. Yep. <laughs> All right, last couple little marks on here. Yeah, I think this would be a really cute class. And that is it, guys and gals. We are done. And I'm going to try to give you a good look at this. And if you don't get a good look now, then definitely tune in to my Instagram page. We're going to take a picture of it. Okay, we'll do it this way. Oh, I don't want to touch that and get white from my... So we're going to do it sideways. Then I'm going to kind of stand it up a little bit. I also have a lot of whole pottery in here. I don't want to break any of that. But I just think it's really super cute. So I thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We have been on about an hour. And <laughs> okay, and I hope you'll come back and join us again next time on Tuesday Talk. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget to share, subscribe, like, visit the Instagram page, check out the $500 giveaway. And love you. Have a great week. Bye.